Hello, uh, folks, and welcome back to Vijanagar. We are so close to forming Barat now, and we will probably take London. We might be able to take uh, Kichisipi here, which is Ottawa. But, uh, yeah, things are going well, the game's going well, and we are going to continue. We have been dragged into some war here. I'm probably going to try to take some Gujarati stuff in this war. Uh, maybe some stuff over here, but uh, in general, we're just going to keep pushing. At some point, we're going to have to break the alliance with uh, Delhi and Bengal, of course. And uh, maybe use ourselves of some other allies. We are going to build another army here in... Uh, in Britain, and that should, I think, 80,000 should be enough to kill off the Scottish. They have about 51. I just want to have a good margin there. Oh, wow. Alright. They gave me a bunch of stuff for 83 aggressive expansion, but uh, you know what? I'll accept that. Uh, it's probably with just some smaller people. Let's see. Let's take a look at our uh, coalition map mode. Shampur, Gujarat. Yeah. I mean, we're fine. Looks like the French have royally uh, screwed over Scotland here, uh, so we sort of mi missed a chance to capture London. I don't know what the French are after, hopefully not much, but we are definitely going to go ahead and declare war. Let's see if anyone will join us. No, not even Spain? Why? Because you're fighting in another war. I see. That makes sense. Oh shit, the French have pieced out with Scotland. I wonder what they asked for. Probably some colonial stuff, I imagine. Maybe? No? You know what, let's call Castile, because I'm out of manpower and I have a feeling this could turn. Castile's not gonna like me very much for doing this, because uh, I promised land. And yes, I could take more, but we are pushing our luck, to be honest. Uh, because we have zero manpower. Castile's not doing much, to be honest, so we are just going to go ahead and send these demands, and then eventually we'll fight them again, but we'll have London, and that's the important part. Alright, let's uh, start improving relations with France. Actually, I don't like the French. We need to still need to fight them to get their... get them the hell out of here, but the Spanish might be a pain. You know what? Alright, we'll, we'll try to keep this uh, alliance with Spain, fight the French, and then we'll turn around. Alright, we're going to start making our first trade company investments, because we, we now actually have the sort of cash flow to do that, and we're going to do that in Zanzibar. Ah, oh, speak of the devil. So, Spain is requesting we fight Ayatuha, and they're allied with Archon, and we actually need stuff here, but I don't know. If we can stop Spain from actually taking too much, that would be nice. Uh, we will accept, though. Alright, Oirat Oyer Horde, we are going to ally you. I'm not going to join you on offensive wars, though. Uh, but I think you'll be a nice balance against Ming, uh, since we do at some point need to invade them. Oh, this is a religious center, so I haven't actually really encountered this mechanic. I guess it's because they're doing the trade thing, uh, and then the center of, or by doing that, that sort of uh, working. Alright, separate piece this, take that, fantastic. Uh, we're going to surround the uh, Spanish province there, and make this into a core territory. Zanzibar provides 98.8 trading power to the node. 13% of the entire node. Ah, that feels good. Maneuver and shock 5 general. Oh, yes, I hope this works out. Let's take a look, and if I lose this, I am going to be very, very angry. Okay, we're, we're doing okay. It was really, really close. We could have lost that. Oof. Oh, God. Alright, can we get Ottawa? Proud Proud land? Good luck. Age of Revolutions is here, fantastic. The Abolition of Slavery Act, I think we're gonna be the first country in the world to pass that. One just has to love this though. Elephants in Canada. Like, in the cold part too. I hope my colonial nation takes as much as possible now, I mean, it's a golden opportunity. Oh, the French Queen, the 666. Ooh, god damn. Oh, yes. Our colonial nation took 
so much stuff. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, so just two more things to do. Uh, form Bharat, so we just need to kill India, or not India, our ally in Delhi. And then we need to kill Ming, or at least get Canton somehow. Oh, wow, we got the wasteland there. Very nice. Uh, now, something that... Ooh, yeah, maybe we do need to kill, kill Spain. France owning a, sh a few things here. It's annoying, but, you know... Not as annoying as this coast thing because of the Spanish holding up north. Zanzibar trade is done. We'll get trade efficiency plus 15%. Wow, that's nice. Will we be able to finish all the, the things here? Because these last two are kind of annoying. Uh, mostly because France has this area. And this is... Uh, I mean, we... Yeah. It's basically, we have to fight the French. But, ooh. They have a bunch of separatists there. And that's very good. I took a few loans here to get to 8,000. Let's embrace uh, the Enlightenment. Fantastic. Gujarat, I'm sorry, but it's full annexation. I was gonna attack Jaunpur, but suddenly, apparently, uh, Delhi wants to attack Ming. Oh god, Ming. I mean, total troops. We have a lot. Delhi has a lot, but Ming still has 143,000 with a force limit of 320. I think I'm gonna stay defensive in this war, but I'll I'll join. Uh, a new religion spreads football. Uh, I just recruited this guy again, and I've been promoting him, so I'm not gonna spend too much money. We'll just uh, let our universities be clean. Ah, all right. Take Pasai. I think uh, I think we'll do it since we're already fighting. Ming Bengal can't join us. They're on our side. Let's go. Somehow they did it. Somehow they are about to wipe eighty thousand men. Eighty thousand men. I don't know. I was holding the fort. I had the superior numbers. I took some stuff from Brunei, but then. Goddamn Pasai. Goddamn Pasai. Alright, Delhi, you could be doing a great job, but instead, Delhi and Bengal send their troops to fucking Siberia. Siberia. Like, all the. Pl oh, I hate this game sometimes. Honestly, I'll deal with uh, Ming first, and then I'll deal with Pasai if we have time. I mean, if we lose a few provinces here, you know, whatever. Uh, Ming is more important at the moment. Sack of Canton. Uh. Better payment and harder discipline. Oh my god. We can do it. We're taking Canton. I can't believe it, guys. This is so... Yeah, screw Delhi. We're gonna have to attack them anyway. This... Oh. This is, this feels so good. I can't believe we did it. Pasai just made a big mistake. They called in Bengal. That's just great for me. I'll be able to take stuff from my former ally. And then... Um, we will push through France, France or whatever, and then we'll occupy some stuff here, and they'll have to peace out eventually. Alright, I know the war was against Pasai, but we can't take anything there, so we will just take this from Bengal. I think there are way too many yellows in uh, EU4, and especially like in this playthrough. Obviously Spain and Scotland. Scotland got a bit bigger than normal, but an array here? Never seen that before, and of course we have to border them as well to make everything confusing. Alright, time to fight Jean Pur. Ooh, is this the beginning of Ming Plosion? Yi has been, uh, be or become independent. Alright, we're gonna take this from Jean Pur. Uh, I can't be bothered to fight a little bit more. I mean, this is all ours, perfect. And Delhi has been screwed over a little bit, so. We'll core all of this, and then eventually we actually have to start moving towards breaking our relations with Delhi now. Ah, but of course Delhi allies with the Ottomans for some reason. God damn it. Oh, this is going to be harder than I expected. New idea group, trade ideas, of course. You know what? Since Spain called me into this and I had to do all the work, I'm going to take all the stuff as well. 
All right, time to dissolve the alliance with Delhi. I tried to make them happy. Try to get them to sell Molten to me, but you know, screw that. We also made them force uh, break their alliance with the Ottomans a bit too early. Maybe we should have broken our alliance first and all of that so that we could actually sweep in, but uh, we'll, we'll find new allies. Spanish enter more in imperialist war. I'll join you because I don't want to lose you as an ally, but uh, you're gonna take this as an opportunity to take people here. I mean, I don't know about Antimora, though. Again, naval shit that I, I can't be bothered with. You know what, let's start our golden era. I've been thinking of... I don't, I don't know why I always put this off. There's a nice comic by... Uh, ah, god damn, I, I forget his name. Fantastic uh, Paradox comic person. Uh, now... Ooh, right, okay. Let's, uh, let's take the Japanese stuff here and defeat them once for all. London shall no longer be English, but Canada, as in our main culture. Ah, great, the Ottomans rivaled me, and I didn't even notice, so, uh, let's go ahead and just cancel, oh, whilst our allies have forces inside of their borders, god damn it, Spain. Like, what are you doing? You're just standing there, taking attrition. What the hell are you doing? All of this for a white piece? Well... That does not make me too happy, but we did get the stuff in uh, East Africa here, so I guess it's not too bad. Also, we're gonna ally Japan. Uh, they haven't, obviously we fought a war against them, but um, they are rival to Ming and France. We hate both, uh, even though we can only rival Ming. I think I will... Should I rival the Ottomans? You know what? Yeah, let's rival the Ottomans and uh, also go ahead and embargo them. The Emperor of China is weak and has little support from north and uh, to south. The ordinary Chinese are questioning his rule and the normally so loyal bureaucrats are debating if Khan has uh, in fact lost the mandate of heaven. Rogue Cantonese officials claiming to represent Xiong have approached Tirumala II imploring us to free them from the oppression of Ming and ending the rule of the Zhu dynasty. Time to end this empire. I don't know if we'll actually go ahead and do that, but that's very nice. Oh, Spain, what the hell? No, enough wars. I'm I'm tired of this shit. Actually, why am I even being called into Europe? Okay, we're not allies anymore. Good. I'm tired of you. Oh, this is perfect. Bengal's moving their troops south to fight the Spanish, but I will uh, invade their homeland. It's fantastic. Uh, we're going to promise we're at some land up here in the north. We're, and they're gonna call in Bengal, and we are going to take stuff. Actually, who is Bengal allied to? The, okay, yeah, I don't want to call in Pasai, so we're gonna go just straight for for this. Bengal's gonna come down hard from the north here, together with Delhi, uh, and I want to focus on just one front, so we are going to peace out here. Get that coast there, fantastic, and then uh, we'll come back for Bengal at a later date. Our heir died before our king, at least we have a little bit better of an heir here, but he's four years old, so uh, I really don't want a regency. Alright, we've cored the stuff from Bengal, and now we can pass a hundred, but just by a little bit here. Oh yes. Oh, there's some horn going off in the background. I hope you guys aren't hearing that. It's really, really annoying. But, uh, yeah, we're going to core all of this statify stuff. And uh, then it will be... We will be able to form... Uh, what's it called? Barat. Alright, there's the Regency. Let's take a new deity. What? I can't believe my uh, colonial nation failed here. Apparently we have a truce... Until next year, I'm definitely gonna tell them to fight. God damn it. What's this? Form the mighty Bharat and bring all the lands of the Indian subcontinent under your rule. Oh, yes. New traditions and ambitions happens. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. New traditions and ambitions. I don't know which, what they are. So I'm just gonna take a look first before we, we do this. Um... Actually, oh, we have actually in all, all new missions here. That's pretty cool. 
Alright, I took a look and the Barati missions, or not missions, ideas aren't actually that interesting. Especially, we'll lose the global trade power and that extra diplomat, so uh, no, we cannot ab abandon our roots. But, we do have a new mission tree, so Unite Dekan, uh, favor the Marathas, fantastic. Ooh. Uh, unite the Coromandel, that's done. And we've also gotten the sun never sets on the Indian Empire. Unfortunately, it can't actually be seen here for some reason. Uh, but it's definitely showed up on my Steam, so I feel like we've achieved more than we set out for. I mean, yeah, the sun does not set on our empire. It stretches from all the way from Canada down to Australia, from Canton to London, from Barat to the Pacific, or I mean, whatever, from Africa. All the corners of the world are ours. Almost. I mean, the Pacific, actually, we don't have any islands out, out here, but... Um, I, I actually don't think the sun would set. Alright, having uh, achieved all of this, I think it's time to, for us to end the episode right here. In the next one, we're probably going to push against Jampur and Bengal. I was thinking of maybe... I mean, we need to take Kutch somehow. Uh, I don't really know how yet. Uh, we also need Sindh to unite that part of India. And then we could actually move, potentially, our capital to London. Get... Uh, uh, an achievement, that is, have a European power uh, own this, maybe become revolutionary and then kick some more ass, uh, as we as we should do. But, as I said, time to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Game Gapster. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, tell your friends all about this. It's fantastic. Sharing is caring. I'll see you later. Farewell.